All right, I was trying to look for this caress, but like I could barely see it. But yeah, I just defeated the scarab. It was so easy. Yeah, let's just turn in this quest and move on. And there we go. That is contact quest complete. Oh, what's this combat lamp? All right, well, let's just put in a JHP. I'll finish the rest later. But now I can do the other quest. Let me see. I'm trying to remember what it was. Wait, achievements. Oh yeah, this one. What's the quest requirements? Dealing with Scarabus. Oh yes! Hell yeah! Finally! Oh my god, guys! We finally got something not a Virtus boots or Ver uh, or fucking Toro boots. I was so frustrated at next today, but we finally got something new. Hell yeah! Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about, guys. That's why we keep going, even though, you know, you really, really don't want to. But, yeah, now I'm happy again, you know? I love Nex again. Ah, oh, awesome, dude. First roll top. All right, dealing with Scarabus, man. A little annoying quest, but it actually wasn't too, too bad at the end of the day. So, yeah, let's just turn this in and complete this quest. Yay! Now I can craft an enchanted water tiara. Um, that's what I need for the achievement diary. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off these two tasks that they yeah, require quite a bit of quests to do. All right, let's complete one of these tasks right now. There we go. That's the hard task done, and I'm moving on to the Caris dagger one that I forgot to do earlier. Okay, let's finish this task up real quick. Just gotta kill one of these guys. I went to the one in the dungeon from that quest, but apparently they don't count. So this one should count. There we go, another hard task done. Well, that's another one done. Let me just show you how many is left. Just four more guys, but... One of them is the... I mean, two of them actually, probably a few, yeah, is... Dominion Tower related. Oh my god, that's gonna suck. Getting all the achievements. And I also have to do, like, two other quests. Kremulet. I don't know what quest that is, but let me figure that out right now. Requirements is do no evil. Okay, so yeah, I have to do do no evil and complete all of the um, Dominion Tower achievements. Oh man, that's gonna be a trek. No joke. That was not worth the heal, by the way. Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Hell yes, awesome. Pernix gloves in the bag, boys. And I'll take that ceremonial mask. Thank you very much. Let's go! Another new item. That is what I am talking about. Hell yeah! Pernix was first kill of the trip. Finally, man, my luck is going somewhere into the positive side at next, which is great. Woo! That's awesome, man. Yo, we got a new record for sure. Oh yeah, guys, that just beat my record by like one second. That's awesome. But uh, yeah, bruise and restore is this kill. So it's time, boys and girls. I finally have enough uh, loyalty points again to uh, go ahead and get myself the Sharpshooter 2 or So I'm going to be right back with that. Let's see if the Sharpshooter is my bank. It should be. There it is. Sharpshooter Aura 2. And let me see time remaining. Haha. -ha! And also, it resetted my Aura for me. So I can go right back to next for another R. Let's do it. So it turns out that the third tier Sharpshooter Aura requires only 29,000 loyalty points and guess what I have 29,500 so I can go and buy that right now and what that means is because this thing's on cooldown once I get new sharpshooter ore it's gonna reset it and I'll be able to go back to another arm next that's really exciting because I just keep upgrading this and I can use the better greater sharpshooter I mean uh, master sharpshooter it should be in my bank now master sharpshooter or how much time remaining Perfect, reset it, awesome, let's go. So, let me turn this challenge in right here, and I should be getting 102 Dungeonary. Ha, ah, yes, 102 Dungeonary has been achieved. These daily challenges and Jack of Trace are really good. Oh, anything new at once, 102? Nope. But I need 1.6 mil to 103, so that's, that's gonna take about 7 to 8 days with uh, dailies to get. So yeah, not not bad at all, absolutely not. Hey, would you look at that? Eastern scroll, 83% chance, and hopefully this time, I will actually get it. Alright, I really didn't want to do this quest, but I need to do do no evil so I can complete the Desert Diary. So, yeah man, this is going to be the one of the longest quests like ever, and we're going to go ahead and do it now. What? 
Wow, this boss is so easy. Oh my god, wow. Well, this is the last boss, and I'm probably gonna, like, 2 hit KO this boss again, just because, you know, they never bother to, you know, update these bosses. And they are piss easy. Okay, maybe not, because this one I have to kill the lizard demons and stuff. Alright, this guy's gotta be dead now. There we go. And that is the last boss. And now I can go ahead and turn the quest momentarily. Mm-hmm. Yes! Do No Evil is finally complete. Oh my god, that took forever to do, but we did it. So now I can uh, start working on the final achievement diaries for it. And I also now have a Kremlin. So, let me quickly look at the requirements for this. Desert Diaries. Oh, snap! I still have to do Domain Entire. Well, you know. Obviously, everybody knew that. Here, one of Al the Camel's poem. Okay, and where are the Ankh and the Scarabus mask while in the desert? Alright, so I got the Ankh from, you know, the Do No Evil post rewards. And now it's time to get the Scarabike mask. And yeah, I just need to wear this with the Ankh, I believe, in any part of the desert to complete that task. So let me, you know, teleport to the desert lodestone and wear these things, and I should be complete. Complete with a task. Let me see if this worked. Yes, it has. Okay, now I just have to talk to the camel. And this should be the final task complete, I think, for the hard. Okay, yes, I completed a hard task. And hopefully that's the last one. And maybe we can get the Desert Emulet 3. Wait, wait, no way. There's more? What other task is there that's hard? Use a dreadnought? Don't tell me this one's a hard one. This is a hard task? Wow, okay. So one task left for the hard and one task left for the elite. And it's all Dominion Tower. Oh man, it's gonna suck, but hey, gotta suck it up and do it. We're almost done, guys. It didn't hit me that hard. Oh my god, guys. Just hit 117 range. And we didn't get anything uh, important. But yeah, that's cool, man. Virtual levels are OP. Let me just show you right here. 117 range, 8 million experience to the next range level, man. That's pretty cool. So I guess road to 120 range is somewhat confirmed. Eventually, you know, we'll get it if we just keep it up. Skull Rush has returned, and we can all hope for the best. Yes, we got it. That's awesome. Okay, it's been a while since I've gone to scroll, so let me see what progress. Oh my god, that's it. I'm only a quarter way into vampirism. Shit, three more, three more scroll pieces, man. It's gonna be a while. Well, I thought I was done with all the quests for Desert Diaries, but no, I have actually many, many more quests to do because in order to do all the achievements for the uh, Dominion Tower, I actually have like three other quests to do, and one of them is Nomad's Requiem, so I'm doing that right now. I don't even have to destroy the route. This thing's going down. I heard the Nomad in R3 is super, super easy. So, you know, to make it someone challenging, I'm not even going to read. It could be incredibly hard if, you know, I don't know about the mechanics. So let's just go for it. Not too bad so far. Wow, he's not even, like, doing any damage. Dude, he's hitting so low. Like, mate. This is piss easy. Yo, this is not how the Nomad's supposed to be. Okay, I could die. Never mind. Okay, I think now the quest will be complete. Yay! Nice, 3 quest points, 70, Soul War Zeal, Soul's response point, and I can get the Soul K, which I won't get because, you know, it's like dead content, but... Alright, so I think I need Blood Runs Deep and a few other quests to do for the Domain Tower. So I guess I'll do that another day, but yeah, no mass Requiem is finally complete. I started with 8.5 million experience in the beginning of this episode, but now I'm at 12.3, so that means I've gained about 3.8 million experience. Kind of measly for this many days of progress, but that's because, you know, I haven't been focusing too much on Slayer at all. I've been just questing my ass off for the Dominion Towers and, you know, for the Elite Diaries. Of the eventual completion of the Desert Elite Diaries is still lurking because I probably will have to, you know, go ahead and do some more quests and grind at the main tower. I don't, I don't even know the XP is good there, but, you know, at this point, it really doesn't matter how much XP I gain. How am I going to explain this? So, I've, you know, read everybody's comments and everyone's suggesting, oh, make this type of series, make a Darkscape series, make a, 
I don't know, dead memo series, you know, do a completionist series or whatever. And, you know, I guess people overlook the fact that I was trying to go for a non-major uh, series approach to, you know, doing these new episodes. But I feel like um, we could go for a compromise. So I think I'll officially say that I will be going for the completionist game. But not in a very earnest way because... Let's face it, I'm still into PVM. I still want to get, you know, the drops that I wanted to get for the Iron Man Warrior Challenge. So in a sense, it's going to be like a hybrid of my Iron Man Warrior Challenge and, uh, you know, hybrid of going for the completion escape. So it should be pretty interesting. Uh, as for the title though, you know, who cares about the title? I think I'm just going to give it like a nonchalant title. Whatever it is, it's going to be, you know, in the video. So I, I can't think of one yet, but I will. Think of one when I upload this video, but yeah. Other than that, um, I'm gonna be doing quite a bit of next, and hopefully get around to completing some of the actual Dominion Tower stuff in the next episode. And hopefully, I'll have that episode up in maybe I don't know four to five days. It really depends. But yeah, man. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye bye.